All right, I have to admit, I'm more of a utilitarian kind of guy. There's nothing wrong with that, nothing to apologize for, it just is. I operate off of a miles per gallon frame of mind and not so much of a, ooh, pretty frame of mind. I rarely round over the edges of my shop projects and I don't fuss too much over details that, in the end, matter very little. So it could be considered a little out of character for me to spend time on what is essentially just a cosmetic factor. But that's okay, this compost bin is gonna be seen from our back porch, and although I may be a utilitarian, my wife is more of a, ooh, pretty kind of person. And I'm not one to argue, that's how you get yourself in trouble. After cutting and ripping all my pieces to size, I'll start assembly of the side frame. Countersinking those holes falls under the, ooh, pretty category. A couple of three inch screws at each corner, that will suffice. That's one down, I'll just do that three more times and then start on the interior panels. I've incorporated two of these in each side, so I'll need eight total. Now, the first one I measured for the vertical pieces to make sure the smaller interior pieces fit, and then I just visually laid out the interior ones according to what I thought would look good. Now, just to make my life easier, I used that first one as a guide to assemble all the others. Now that that's done, let's put those inside the side frames. First one, then the other. Now I'll gently tap the middle divider in As I said, gently. After all three side panels are assembled, it's on to the doors. Only on the doors, I'm gonna assemble those backwards from how I did the side panels. I'll attach the outer frame around the interior for sort of a custom fit. Okay, let's assemble this thing. Studies have shown pre-drilling holes help save lives. Okay, not really. If you've ever worked with chicken wire, you know it sucks, so I don't do it if I don't have to. Hardware cloth is a lot simpler to work with, and attaching it before or after the sides are attached together was neither here nor there. I didn't find it any harder or easier to do it one way as opposed to another. And there you have it, a compost bin that is attractive enough to showcase in the backyard. 
Don't forget to visit me at SimplyEasyDIY.com for cut list and materials. Also check out my second channel, Simply Easy Homesteading, to see the preparation and setup of this compost bin, along with some of the challenges I faced. Check the description, I'll have all the links. Until then.